right, ladies and gentlemen, another episode of Mayhem. It's Miss Money in the Bank. And coming out first, there she is carrying that front of the line case. It is the Spanish assassin, Silencio. For some reason, cloaked in darkness. Four, one fall, making her way to the ring from Madrid, Spain. But there she is. There she is, the Spanish assassin letting everybody know she's got that case. We've already seen THP successfully cash in his case at the Suns Out, Guns Out pay-per-view. Silencio has been, no pun intended, pretty quiet. Pretty quiet as of late. Hasn't even brought the case down for a lot of her matches. I think maybe trying to... Uh, let people uh, kind of forget that she has it there. You never know. Like I say, at any time, she could cash that in and try and steal and the RLWF Women's New Championship. York, but tonight, Sonia she is facing an ex-women's champion in the knockout queen herself, Sonia Gray. KO queen in the house. Should be a great match. Sonya Gray, crowd going wild. They love them some Sonya Gray, and who could blame them? A fantastic superstar. Always one punch away from winning any match. You can never, ever, ever count this woman out. Well, I mean, I guess if she's counted out, you could count her out. If she's pinned, you could count her out. But you know what I'm talking about. Not literally, metaphorically. Let's start the prediction. You can let me know who you think is going to win the match. Again, if this is your first time joining us and you would like to have your very own superstar on the RLWF, all you need to do is come on down to the Twitch channel, drop a sub, including a Prime sub. That's fine. If you don't want to do a sub or you're unable to do a sub, that's no problem either. Just come hang out for a little while, bet on a few matches, 5,000 channel points gets you your very own superstar. It's just that easy. Just that easy. Sonya Gray going for the early pin. Does not fly. And then, oh! Eat defeat. And Sonya Gray off to an early lead, but I would not count out Silencio by any measure. And look at Sonya Gray. A little bit of showboating for the fans. Is that confidence or overconfidence? Either way, Silencio. Obviously not too happy about it and is making her pay now. Hot shots are all the way to the outside of the ring. She heads out of the ring. Interesting strategy. But Sonya Gray back in control here. Suplex rolls over. And one more, why not? She's beginning to flag a little. Kip up by Silencio, but Sonya right back to the attack. And a locks in the ankle lock, not a false count anywhere match. So even if she taps, it does not count. At this point, the larger concern is a count out. I'm not sure what the uh, referee's count is at at this point. Only a five count, we're still fine. Silencio decides to head back in the ring. But... <laughs> Sonia Gray grabs her by the throat. Sonia Gray coming out with a lot of confidence in this match. You'll love to see it. Sonia Gray, a former front of the line case holder herself, was not able to cash that in for a title shot, but for a title win anyway. And locks in the sleeper hold. And Silencio with the sit-out jawbreaker, but wow, Sonya Gray 
on fire in this match so far, but here comes Silencio. Working on that right leg. Handstand and knee drop. They lock up shot to the face. Reversal by Sonya has the crowd back in it. And now here we go, punching power of Sonya Gray. Silencio feeling the uh, feeling the effects now, but reversal crowd immediately booing Silencio, not a popular superstar, to say the least. And oh, super kick right to the chin. And Silencio maybe going to go for a pin here. No, just the opposite. Sonya Gray with the roll-up only gets the two count. Thought that she might have been able to get her there. Tried for the Superman punch, and Silencio dodged it. I think a little bit of luck there, but that Superman punch would have been the end of Silencio for sure. Each superstar trying to stay a step ahead. Quick exchange of counts there. Off the ropes. And, oh, missed again on the Superman punch. Roundhouse kick to the side of the head by Silencio, trying for the pin. What a steal this would be. Only got the two counts. Silencio has dodged two Superman punches. And now Sonya on the apron. And punching her way back into the ring, but Silencio sends her into the ropes. Irish whip drops down, leapfrog, and boom! Flapjack sends her face first, and now Silencio going top rope. Are we going to see the double axe handle? Boom, we do. Connects, hooks the leg. Is that going to be enough to put away Sonya Gray? Almost that close, ladies and gentlemen, that close. A fantastic match to open up this week's mayhem. And Silencio hot shots her to the outside again. Heads right out after her. Boom. Standing moonsault. Yeah, she's proven difficult to grab a hold of. And Silencio stomping away on Sonya Gray. There's the handstand knee drop. Colm, welcome in, welcome in, sir. Another handstand knee drop. I can confirm that Colm is indeed on the card tonight. And a low drop kick to Sonya Gray. She said back Tossed into back the into the ring. Silencio, considering her moves, goes top rope again. If she hits another double, uh, double axe handle, that could be curtains for Sonya Gray, and she does. Count it out, ref one. Two and three, your winner, Silencio. After a big win last week, Silencio heating up. Let's take another look at these wonderful women in action. She may not need the case to get herself a title shot if she keeps racking up wins like this. And again, Sonya Gray's early confidence might have been a little overconfidence. Might have let her guard down a little bit, and that is not a woman you want to let your guard down on by any stretch of the imagination. A big, big win for Silencio. All right, over to the men's division now. And coming out first, here he is. The Peruvian Viper, Colombo. 
the pride of Lima, Peru. Lost in an absolute barnstormer last week against William the Hammer Styles. An unbelievable match. But despite that, an incredibly dangerous superstar. A very high pressure situation ahead for this guy, but he is more than ready for it. I mean, a little, a little arrogant. You can see him kind of giving the business a bit to the fans, but listen, if I if I had a body like that, I'd be pretty arrogant too. Let's let's face, let's be honest. Let's be honest. But who is his opponent going to be? Who is this now? It is the Venu. A Venu who made his debut last week was supposed to face Gorilla Mondo in his debut, but Jocko interceded and inserted himself into that match and then actually won the match. But what a match it was! They were fighting in the crowd. They were fighting all over the place. But in the end. Jocko was the winner, but look at this specimen. What we saw last week was impressive. I am very much looking forward to see how he does against Columbo. I mean, you can see the man is absolutely built like a tank, but he was showing some pretty, uh, pretty impressive athletic moves last week, so. Waiting to see more, and here he comes again. The Cure has been his target from the jump. He is also from the RPW, the wrestling promotion based out of England. And uh, I think he does not like the members of the Cure. And uh, the feeling is apparently mutual after Jocko jumped him last week. And there you go. Listen, it's the first time we're seeing his intro, so we'll let it run, but you're milking it a little bit, you know. You're milking it a little bit. That's okay. But that's okay. Colm says a man with a target on his back, indeed. I mean, taking on the cure single handedly may not be the and wisest move, especially with how successful the, the cure has been in the RLWF. But Vinu coming out strong. You're not the only person against Colombo, but Colombo has him up in the corner. The Reversal from Dinu. I mean, you got to think this wrestling in that mask has got to be. Roster hopefully, they've checked out those horns now. to make sure those are kosher from a health and safety perspective. Colombo at ringside, Vinu waiting for his return. Oh, I didn't start the prediction. Let me start the prediction. There you go. You can let me know who you think is going to win. No, don't you dare. Don't you Vinu dare. biting oh his fingers. Did not expect that one. And Vinu with the counter on Columbo, who has not been able to really get any offense going here. And once again, chopping on the fingers. I think there's a slit that opens up in that mask that's specifically designed for fingers to go in, which is a little concerning, I'm going to say it. I'm just going to say it, a little concerning. But Vinu, dominating the early rounds of this match here, concentrating on the arm. And now has him upside down. He's going to lock him in the tree of woe. And oh, look at that beautiful counter by Columbo. Kicked him right on the top of the head. Beautifully executed. Trying to get something going, but look at that. I think Columbo only just got grazed by that one, and thank goodness for it. But Vinu hammering away. He's in a little bit of trouble now. And, and Columbo 
Listen, Colombo not used to being manhandled in this fashion. Vinu has been impressive. Continuing to work on the arms of Colombo. Has him up and flapjack out of the corner and the kip up. What is going on? Vinu spinning a little red miss. Let me tell you. Vinu. Oh! With the Terminator and now setting him up for something else. And boom! The 360 face buster, and that might be it for Colombo already. Colombo manages to get that shoulder up somehow. And Vinu showing off that strength as him high above his head. Power on display, Columbo, a big, big man. This is where his fortitude will be put to the test. And uh, uh, listen, Colm out here calling the man a menace and calling him to be banned for biting. The WWE Universe giving him an extra shot of adrenaline. Vinu, something not quite right in the head, I think, maybe with Vinu. I'm not quite sure. I am not quite sure. An intriguing superstar, to say the least. And now, boom! Air raid bomb. And Vinu spitting that venom in the air. Listen, as long as it doesn't go in the face of his opponent, the referee's going to allow it. Colombo desperately trying to get something going here against Vinu. And now Colombo showing off his strength roll up is he gonna get a sneaky little win here Vinu oh thought he had it thought he had it incredible absolutely incredible and once again Colombo has him up and down in a hurry and now Colombo setting Vinu up Colombo trying to steal this man oh stole his maneuver stole his finisher hits him with the 360 only got the two counts Man, oh man, what a match. And now Colombo a little fired up here, as you can see. And finally, for the first time in this match, he is in control. Can he keep it going? Can he see it through to the end? Only time will tell. Has him up. Taking his time with this suplex. And drops him. Vinu rolls out trying to get a little bit of a break, but Colombo, no rest for the wicked, comes right back out after him. Continuing to pound away on that mask of Vinu. They lock up. Colombo sends him hard into the barricade. Colombo telling him to get up and uh, maybe a few other things as well that we can't repeat. He's got him up. And slammed down. You can see his feet slamming against the top of the barricade as well. Adding insult to injury. But here comes Vinu. Has, up, uh, has him up for... Oh! An air raid bomb to the concrete floor. Hip toss reversal by Colombo. What a match back and forth. They're at an eight count. Colombo gets in, and I don't know that Vinu's going to be able to get up in time. There's the nine count. Colombo resets the count by going out after Vinu. I mean, no one likes to no one likes to win by count out, but I probably would have stayed in the ring. I probably would have stayed in the ring and taken the W. But Colombo is a different animal altogether. Agonizing. They lock up. Colombo has him high above his head, but no. Vinu raked the eyes of Colombo. To get out of that maneuver, they both head back into the ring. And Vinu showing off the muscles, but Colombo making him pay. 
reversal from Vinu. Vinu just running on fumes. What? Oh my God. I I, I can't believe he got a two. It only got the two counts on that one. He lifted him two feet off the into the air. You can see as he rises. Vinu setting him up again. And boom, another 360. He is split open on that one too. That could very well be it. And there's your three count. Getting his first win in the RLWF. It is Vinu after an incredible match. There he is. He lifted him with that double axe handle. Right off the mat, there's the second, well, second 360 face buster for him, but third overall in the match. And there he is, Vinu. He has put a target on the backs of the cure. And let me tell you, from what I've seen, eh, they should be a little bit worried about it. I know it's three on one still. But they should be a little bit worried. All right, over to the tag team division. Here comes trouble. Coming out first. Multiple time women's tag team champions Nikita Nightmare and Zinda. It's a malice. Tornado tag match coming your way. Again, I mean that you listen. They were uh, the most dominant tag team in the women's division, perhaps in all the RLWF. They've fallen off a little bit since losing the belts. Let me tell you, stunners have been. Uh, have seemed pretty unstoppable. We will see whether or not Malice is going to uh, claw their way back to the top here again. It would not shock me. And here they come. Mr. Clean, welcome in, sir. Welcome in. And their opponents. Their opponents, Alexia Fox and Fox Burton, the fabulous Foxes. And the countdown is almost over. Making their way to the ring again, also, Former women's tag team champion. A very brief run, but still, technically, former champ. <laughs> Again, a formidable team. No easy, no nights off in the women's division, in the tag division, certainly. Actually, really, all, all across. Listen, it's competition top to bottom here in the RLWF, as you know, and it's only getting better. We have another debut of a new RLWF superstar coming up later this week on Shock. The roster just keeps on growing and growing. Let me start the prediction, and you can let me know who you think is going to win this match. Again, a Tornado Tag Match. It is truly anybody's game in this Tornado Tag Matchup. It's true, given all the nonstop uh, Absolute chaos in the middle of the ring, as one might expect to begin the match. Fox Burton taking on Zinda. Nikita Nightmare taking on Alexia Fox. And Nikita Nightmare locks in a submission hold on Alexia already. Fox Burton finally spots it. Comes over to save her partner. And now, Nikita with the kick to the chest of Fox Burton. And then right back to Alexia. Suplex goes for the pin again here. Nikita Nightmare apparently has stuff to do. She is trying to end this match early. Zinda working on the knee of Fox Burton. And boom, drops the big heavy elbow, stays for the pin. Malice looking to go for the early win here. Not sure that's a great strategy. 
Fall away slam into the corner. Meanwhile, Lexia Fox coming back against Nikita on the outside. Fox Burton taking a little breather on the outside before coming back and eating a right hand from Zinda. But a nice counter. Oof. And again, a submission hold locked in by Nikita Nightmare. Fox Burton out of that one fairly quickly. Alexia chasing Nikita all around the ring. Finally decides to go after Zinda instead. Big knee. Oh, Zinda rammed hard into those steel steps by Alexia Fox. Irish whip into the ropes. Goes nowhere inside. Nikita sent into the corner, and Fox Burton sends her coast to coast. And one more time before drop kicking her into the turnbuckles. Hooks the leg. Zinda sees it, but no need. Nikita kicked out after only one. All four participants back in the ring now. Fox Burton working the arm of Nikita and Zinda doing the same to her partner. Zinda has Fox Burton up now. Fanatic Gamer, welcome in, welcome in. Great to see you again. Nikita Nightmare. With a huge series of kicks to Alexia Fox. Meanwhile, on the outside, Zinda. Submission hold. There's the pin already. Wow. I was watching the submission on the outside. Only just noticed Nikita Nightmare going for the pin, and that's it. Malice were on full throttle to end this match. Likely trying to uh, kiss up to chat, but... They were laser focused on getting a win and getting a win early, and that's exactly what they did. A dominating win for Malice. Tornado tag contest. The way these women executed maneuvers, they must know each other inside and out. And once again, Malice, your winners. Right, back to singles now with the proper intro made his debut last week here he is Harris the cursed hair making his way to the ring from Lisbon Portugal weighing in at 205 pounds it is Harris hair making his way to the ring capture the attention of the this is the correct WWE intro Ig ignore what you saw last week that would don't worry about that this is the real deal Harris hair looks a little transfixed possessed a little scary look at those eyes a little a little, a little terrifying a little terrifying I'm not gonna not gonna lie not gonna lie. Now he won his he won his debut match last week, so he is looking to build upon that success tonight with another victory. Look at that, staring into the abyss. It's like uh, facetiming with a serial killer. What is going on here? And who? is going to be his opponent, none other and his opponent from Illinois, than William the Hammer Styles. William also coming off a big win last week against Columbo. This should be an incredible match. The Sultan of Suplex 
William the Hammer Styles. Making his way to the ring. Again, this should be a very interesting matchup in terms of stylistically. Should be a very interesting matchup. William Styles looking cool and confident as ever as he makes his way to the ring. A competitor who always has his game face on. All right, let's get right to it. Let me set up, let me uh, uh, start the prediction rather. You can let me know who you think is gonna win this one. Harris Hare versus William Styles. One thing about Falls Count Anywhere matches, these superstars have a habit of finding useful weapons. And a nice combination out of the gates chairs, by Hare. Kendo sticks, lead pipes, barricades, broken mirrors. Everything is fair game in this one. Thanks for reminding us, Corey. I should have going to work. Suit and helmet. I think we all should have. On Styles. Kick right to the gut. Harris Hare, listen, in the match last week showed an impressive move set, so looking to see more of that tonight. Send Styles into the corner. Uh oh. Head first into that turnbuckle. And a reversal by Styles. He's got to try and get something going here. Has him up, slams him into the turnbuckle, then tosses him to the middle of the ring. And Styles, a few mounted punches to the face. I don't think that mask offers too much in the way of protection. Byron, how does this matchup require a different mindset? A superstar must be prepared to go. Sharp kick to the lower back there by Styles. And the hammer going to work. Heads to the outside. Looks like he's going under the ring for a little inspiration. Again, falls count anywhere. No count outs, no disqualification. He's got a sledgehammer apropos for William the Hammer Styles. Hooks the leg. Peter Jordanson defying gravity to make sure he gets a good view of the pin. That's the kind of dedication that the referees have here. Oh, slam down onto the hammer and now into a submission hold, but Harris fighting his way out. Harris Hare trying to mount a comeback here now, though. Rolls him over, and another stomp to the midsection. And another DDT onto the concrete announcer's desk. Uh, being a little cautious there. Watch out. Almost slammed right into Peter Jordanson there. Didn't even flinch, Peter Jordanson. Oh! Wow. There's the pin. Only got the two counts, but you can see Styles shaking off the cobwebs after that shot to the face. Harris backing up and stomp. Right onto the concrete. Hooks the leg. That might very well be enough already. Oh, I thought he might have got the three. Styles manages to stay alive, but for how long? Harris Hare has been dominating this match thus far. And now missed on the low drop kick. Styles managed to roll out of the way just in time and then shows him how it's done. Styles fired up now. Hare in the corner and face first into the turnbuckle. And Aliu powerbomb into the pin. Only got the two count. Harris Hare gets that shoulder up. And now Styles taking apart those steel steps. Harris Hare might be wise to uh, wait for a minute, see how this shakes out. <laughs> and he does just that. 
uppercut. Reversal by Styles. Hair on the apron. And the hammer drops. Harris hair goes to the pin. Is that going to be enough? The referee way out of position. Way, way out of position. Got the shoulder up after two. I suspect that if uh, Peter Jordan said it was in better position there, that William Styles may just have won that match. Back in the ring now. And Styles has him up. Oh, and over. No. Beautiful reversal by Hare into the pin, trying to get the sneaky win. Only got the two counts. Almost stole it. Great move by Harris Hare. Nice combination. Irish whip into the ropes, and boom! Oh, splits him open with that kick to the face. Dodge by Styles. Styles has him up and down. Locks in the submission hold. Is he going to make hair tap? He does not hair. Manages to bust out of it. What an incredible back and forth match. I have no idea who is going to win this one. Styles no sells the drop kick and then boom! Close lines him. And another two count, unbelievable styles. Can't believe it either. He's taking this to the And he is once again going for those steel steps. Not sure that's the right play here, but who am I to question? William the Hammer Styles. Gets inside the ring. Back in the ring. Nice dodge by Hare. Sends him to the apron. Grabs those steel steps, changes his mind, and Styles goes back in the ring. Irish whip into the ropes, and power slam. You can see the bridge of uh, William Styles' nose split wide open. Who won the race? Charlie's horse. He's got the steel steps again. And he is waiting patiently for Harris Hare to present himself as a target. And no, oh, Harris Hare with the elbow counter, but suplex by Styles. And another big clothesline might have hit his head against the back of the stairs. If so, that's definitely going to be a three count. And it is. I think he may have hit. We might have to get the doctors out to take a look at Harris Hare. We'll have to see if they show it on the replay, but I think after that clothesline, he might have hit the back of his head on that stairs. But what a match. Couldn't quite see from that angle, but I, it looks to me like he caught himself on a corner. So no wonder he was down for the three count there. Another big win for William the Hammer Styles. But a great showing by Harris Hare. And, just as importantly, Harris's intro worked, so I'm happy too. All right, another singles match. Heading to the ring... Uh, there he is, Stone the Justice. Is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Los Angeles, California, weighing in a hundred and ten percent commitment, zero percent body fat. Justice. It is Stone Justice this has all the makings of an all from Los Angeles, match. California. And fully expected to deliver on that promise. And again, Stone Justice, as we've noted, as. Uh, uh, you know, he's had his troubles. Hopefully, we haven't seen him in a little bit. Hopefully, maybe some time off has given him a little bit of perspective. The competition level has never been higher. But, but listen. This guy's ready to prove he can hang. 
I mean, there are some that argue that Stone Justice, with that extra bit of edge, that extra bit of violence, that extra bit of unpredictability, is an even more dangerous superstar than uh, he was before. Be and before, he was a, uh, a men's heavyweight champion. So, might be just what the doctor ordered, but this is definitely not what the doctor ordered. The release of a known psychopath, a convicted felon, straight from the Arizona psychiatric penitentiary right to your living room Hannibal Armstrong one half of Slaughterhouse former men's champion former men's tag team champion not a former productive member of society I don't think he has ever been that I have seen the rap sheet and it is long ladies and gentlemen Hannibal Armstrong making his way to the ring and even though he has been spending most of his time in the tag team division as of late still an incredible formidable opponent one-on-one -on -one, no doubt the look of focus and should be a fantastic on match between on this high level. two great competitors let me start the prediction you can let me know who you think is going to be victorious that is a tough call I guess we're gonna have to see whether the you know Hannibal is a little rusty in the solo division Gentlemen, you are looking at a man who is sick of the doubters. Sick of and the there's the bell. His potential, and I can't disagree with him. I expect and Stone Justice like splits him open immediately. It will be a tall Unbelievable. Could take him very far. But he'll be taking wow. Who is a lot of first match. First, thank God this wasn't a first blood match. Week week. Or else it would have been the quickest match in RLWF history. But he is split open immediately. But Hannibal still with the offense, although there is a nice inverted atomic drop by Stone Justice. Hannibal has him up there cheering Hannibal. Again, Stone Justice has been getting a bit of a mixed reaction as of late. I think his hijinks have kind of uh, worn thin on some of the fans. We'll see how this match goes. Hannibal has him by the throat and tosses him across the ring. Again, Hannibal Armstrong. This match grinded him down a little. An incredible, an incredible specimen. Rolls him over. And Stone Justice uses raw power to force his way out of that Boston Crab. Russian leg sweep beautifully executed by Justice. Climbing up to the top now. Stone Justice going top rope. On the top. And oh. Crashing Sto was trying All right. With that, okay, was sure, why not, 2K? Stone Justice missed on that one, thankfully. Seemed to have caught some kind of an air pocket that kept him aloft and prevented too much damage. And Stone Justice has him in a bear hug, trying to make the big guy tap. And Stone Justice with the bell clap to get himself out of trouble. I spoke too soon. He's right back in trouble again. DDT by Stone Justice. Invisible welcome in, sir. Welcome in. A leg drop by Stone Justice. Stone Justice has been absolutely on fire. I mean, flying out of the gate with a, uh, and splits Hannibal open on the first move. But Hannibal trying to get something going here now. Look at this. Look at the knee lifts to the midsection, trapped in the corner. And continuing to stomp away, but there's the reversal by Stone Justice. Stone Justice, what a performance so far tonight. Has him up. And Tombstone Lungblower 
goes for the pin. Only got the two count, but awfully close. Setting him up again. And are we going to see the jackhammer? I think that's exactly what we're going to see. No, we are not. Hannibal Armstrong with an incredibly timely reversal. On Stone Justice, but... Hannibal Armstrong desperately trying to get something going here. Irish whip it and spear! Oh my god. Only got the two count, but wow. That's really as close as it gets. And again, making sure that Stone Justice not able to breathe. Suplex. Hannibal setting him up. Grabs him by the throat. And chokes him. That could be curtains for Stone Justice. Hannibal pulling him away from the ropes, I think. Maybe taking a little too much time with that placement. Shoulders down. Only got the two count. Took a little too much time readjusting. Hannibal claiming a slow count. I don't think that was the question. I don't think that was the issue. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. Hannibal. Hannibal on the top turnbuckle. Oh my god, what a nightmare. Oh! He manages to escape it. Stone Justice steps out of the way just in time. That missed him by micrometers. After what we've seen so far, you Oh, Stone Justice! With the block and the slap to the face. Again, this new kind of more violent, more aggressive Stone Justice. It is showing results. Discus punch. Tossed back into the ring after the five count, and Stone Justice knows he's got enough time to uh, do a little pose, show off the guns. Back in the ring as Hannibal gets to his feet. They lock up, and Hannibal... Going for the run! Hits him with another choke slam out of nowhere. Stone Justice perhaps a little too cocky. Only the two count. Oh my god. DB, welcome in. Welcome in, sir. And another. If he hits a third choke slam, forget it. Forget it. It's done. Good night. Good night. Mark it in the book. There's your three count for Hannibal Armstrong. Unbelievable. Stone Justice. This is what I'm talking about. This is the Stone Justice of old. Sportsmanship. Oh, no! Stone Justice. Stone Justice had all of us fooled. Unbelievable what has gotten into this guy. Wow. All right, five-man elimination knockout match. Coming up. And first out, it is Gorilla Monto. Is a fatal five-way Extreme Rules match. It is an Extreme Rules knockout match. Now, again, we had we debuted this match format with uh, in the women's division a couple of weeks ago, and uh, it was a huge success. So we are going right back to the well, baby, and giving the men an opportunity to pummel each other into unconsciousness. We're going to skip through some of these intros so we can get to the action. But Gorilla Mondo, the first participant in this five-man. Elimination knockout match. And up next, my personal favorite. The man, the mullet, the mustache, the magic. Terry Wonderful. 
ask me how my day is going. I, I don't bet on the matches, but if I did, boom. Boom. That's where all my money's going. Right there on that man. Terry, wonderful. Look at that glorious, silky mullet. That is the best mullet in sports entertainment. I challenge you to find me one better. I challenge you. For the task at hand in this big time match. Terry, wonderful. Next up. The WWE Universe just exploded. And All right. USA Hide your garbage and wipe your counters. It is Mr. Clean. Mr. Making his way to the ring. Maz here. All right. Now we can get some real betting going. Welcome in, sir. Mr. Clean sauntering his way to the ring. Sauntering a little too slowly, so we're going to skip through the rest of his intro. We have three of the five participants. Next up. His Royal Highness, from wherever he wants, Prince Yu. I mean, not gonna lie, but uh, that that white suit is on par with Mr. Clean. These guys should team up, just because of those beautiful white duds. Impeccable, impeccable. Of course, whereas Mr. Clean is uh, obsessively cleaning things. Prince Yu has, uh, he has staff for that. He has servants uh, that take care of these things for him. But the end result is the same. Look at the polish on that crown. Every jewel gleaming. For Prince Yu. And the final participant. Here comes one of my favorites. The most paranoid man in the RLWF, it is Sam, the Scorpion Taylor. The Scorpion Taylor. Some criticize this talent for their desire to win it all. Doesn't trust the government. Desperate. You know what? Anyone who doesn't trust his family, and certainly doesn't trust his fellow RLWF superstars. The tactics that superstar employs can be Sam, the Scorpion Taylor. Listen, Sam Taylor has done very well for himself in multi-man matches, so. Always have to watch out for him as a dark horse in a match like this. All right, let's get to the action. I am going to start the prediction. And there's sure to be plenty of bedlam. And you can let me know who you think is going to win again. If you would like your very own superstar here in the RLWF, 5,000 channel points or a sub. Just that easy. Come hang out, do a little bit of betting. You'll have 5,000 channel points in no time. Absolute chaos in the ring, as you would expect. Again, the only way to be eliminated is to get knocked out. And it is up to the referee's discretion to determine when that is. All right? I don't want to hear any whining and crying about uh, not actually being knocked out and blah, blah, blah. I don't want to hear it. It is up to the ref. No count outs, no disqualifications. Uh-oh. Able to reverse that one. No submissions, no pins. You fight until you can't fight no more. Irish Whip and Mr. Clean with a big elbow on Gorilla Mondo. Prince Yuve and Sam Taylor fighting it out in front of the announcer's desk. Terry, you wonderful. Looks like he's going to go over to join them, and boom. Attacks Prince Yu. Sam Taylor going after Terry. Wonderful. Gorilla Mondo stomping away on Mr. Clean in the middle of the ring. Oh, Terry, wonderful, thrown into the apron. Oh, look at that temple punch to Mr. Clean. Almost cracked that dome right open. You've been wonderful fighting next to the announcer's desk. Gorilla Mondo on the apron. I think he was trying to go to the up to the uh, top of the ring. Wasn't paying attention to Mr. Clean. 
made him pay for it. Isolating the leg. Leg Irish whip into the ropes and another elbow by Mr. Clean. You've tosses Sam Taylor into those steel steps or what's left of the steel steps before going under the ring and pulling out a hockey stick. And boom! Mullet shot with the hockey stick. Swinging neck breaker by Clean. He is uh, cleaning house inside that ring. And now Sam Taylor going after Prince Yu with that hockey stick. Mr. Clean has the steel steps, but Gorilla Wando intercepts him. Oh, I think Terry Wonderful might have got split and open after that shot from Sam Taylor. Oof! Mr. Clean slammed hard into the apron. And now Gorilla Mondo going after Sam Taylor. But Mr. Clean not finished with Gorilla Mondo quite yet. Hits him with the neck breaker. Terry Wonderful is split open, but wisely staying in the ring. Thousand IQ play there by Terry Wonderful. Take a breather. Let everyone else fight amongst themselves. Set him up. Russian leg sweep. Again, the only way to be eliminated from this match is by knockout. He's back into the ring. So keep your eye open. The referee is watching. And will indicate a bell will ring when someone is knocked out. And boom! A move like that is exactly what might do it, but not in this case. Although Gorilla Mondo not looking well. <laughs> Sam Taylor setting up you. And oh, missed on the spear. Great presence of mind by you. But Sam Taylor continuing to pummel the Prince. Showing a lot of fortitude in this extreme Gorilla Mondo has the steel steps. Mr. Clean intercepts him once again. Before being tossed back into the ring. Everybody back in the ring now. Terry Wonderful. German suplex. Gorilla Mondo. Tried for the Dumble Underhook suplex, but reversed by Taylor. The Scorpion going under the ring now. And he's got a kendo stick. Absolute chaos in the ring again. But no eliminations thus far. Everyone remaining conscious. And now Mr. Clean. Taking a licking from that kendo stick, but there is the counter by Clean and Clean. Big clothesline on you. He was setting up for something, but Gorilla Mondo hits him with the cutter. Now we've got a, a ladder out between the apron and the announcer's desk. Hey, look at that. Maz of Oz. The consummate Australian gentleman with the gift sub to Invisible Guy. Congratulations, Invisible Guy. Just like that, you are in. Thanks to the great Maz of Oz. Invisible Guy, if you're not already, join the Discord and you can give us all the details and we'll get you a guy in here lickety split. In the meantime, Gorilla Mondo setting up for something, but the Scorpion got to him first. And that's it. Terry Wonderful knocked out by Mr. Clean. And now Mr. Clean. Oh, my goodness. How is Sam Taylor not knocked out after that one? Absolute chaos. Mazavaz is indeed the VIP, absolutely.
Absolutely. Prince Yu misses on the leg drop. Gorilla Mondo drops Sam Taylor face first off the apron, but again, Sam Taylor still conscious. Terry Wonderful finally back on his feet and heading back to the to the back room. Oh, DDT on Mr. Clean. The referee keeping a close eye. German suplex by Gorilla Mondo. He returns to the ring. Mondo has clean up again, but no reversal by Clean and Sam the Scorpion. Always the opportunist. Sneaks in and knocks Mr. Clean onto his butt. Gorilla Mondo's got a chair from somewhere. I missed that completely. Watch out, Prince Yu. Prince Yu heads him off at the pass. And Gorilla Mondo dropped face first off the apron. And now Prince Yu has the chair. And Prince Yu going to work on Gorilla Mondo. There's the low blow by Sam Taylor on Mr. Clean. Right in the Tide Pods. He caught him. Yeah, if you've got it and you've got a wrestler, just upload him to Community Creations. Uh, let me know. And uh, maybe also if you could uh, put hashtag RLWF, that'll help me. 450 elbow knocks Mr. Clean out of the competition. And now here comes Mew with the baseball bat. Tilt the world backstabber by Gorilla Mondo and the backstabber knocks out you. And just like that, we are down to two. Sam the Scorpion and Gorilla Mondo. Gorilla Mondo, of course, with the baseball bat, you gotta think has a bit of an advantage there. But Sam Taylor, gut buster. You can see the ringside area littered with weaponry. Oh, and rams his head into the steel steps. We just saw that earlier in the in the matches. And now the Scorpion going to work with that shovel. I mean, the referee has got to stop this at some point. Super kick to the face. And now Gorilla Mondo trying to come back here against Sam Taylor. Stopping away, and that's it. That is it. Just stomped on his head until he was unconscious. Consummate technical wrestling here on display at the RLWF. In this match clean, it's, it's knockout, so whenever you basically whenever the referee decides you've had enough <laughs> so uh gorilla mondo hit you with that 450 from the top rope Here is your winner, and Drew you were done mondo. There you have and it. once Super again Tony your winner yeah i mean it's it should technically it should i would think it should be if you get a head hit but 2k says they just determine when that is basically but they still made it through in one piece I don't think it's necessarily that you're stunned and you're out. I think it's basically after a certain amount of punishments, they deem that you're kind of done. And so uh, that was it. Your winner, Gorilla Mondo. All right, back to singles competition. Out first. Crack a beer, wave your flag, shoot your pistols into the air. It is the All-American, Matt Windham. Weighing in at 295 pounds, the All-American, Matt Windham. Matt Windham waving the old stars and stripes as he goes. Matt Windham with a big win last week, I believe, against Jeremiah Cowboy Colt, if I'm not mistaken. Let me double check here. Indeed, against Jeremiah Colt. No easy, no pushover there, that's for sure. 
And now Matt Windham, this is going to be a rematch. Still non-title, but a rematch against FTN Colm, who Matt Windham defeated right before the Suns Out, Guns Out pay-per-view, but after the number one contender for the All-Star belt was decided. And here he is, FTN Colm, representing the Cure, coming out alone this time. Well, I mean, he's got a nightstick, but other than that, look at the new, uh, the fancy new red duds here, too, by Colm. Looking good, looking sharp, as always. Now, Colm, of course, coming off a loss last week against Kurt Wilde. Famously, The Cure said they would not have any kind of uh, shenanigans or interference, and they stayed true to their word. But Colm came out on the losing end of that match. Matt Windham versus FDN Colm. Now, if Matt Windham can Any beat Colm for a second time, shot here tonight. The title a uh, title match the may not be far behind. Let me start the prediction. You can let me know who you think is going to win. You can bet your bottom dollar that Colm has been studying the tapes since his loss and is looking to try and maybe reverse some of the mistakes he made in that first match. But Matt Windham... This is an opportunity to add to a legacy. As big and as strong as ever. Always a tough superstar to beat. He takes control. Cole taking a few shots at the big man. Again, Cole is going to have to use his, uh, his, his ring smarts here. Matt Windham, obviously the much bigger opponent. Although, apparently, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. So, Colm is going to have to be uh, use his wrestling IQ if he wants to come out victorious here. Oof. Nice reversal into the ring. Almost flattened the referee in between there. Nice back suplex. They lock up. Matt Windham shot to the midsection. And another... And choke slam on the all-star champ and Matt Windham manhandling. Colm so far. He's getting the crowd worked up. Takes a run at Colm and hits him with the big clothesline. In full control of their opponent with more in mind. Discus punch to the forehead. And into the bear hug. No, Colm. Punching their way out of that one. Does not want to find himself in the grips of that man. But no. Immediately into the sleeper hold. Is it going to be nighty night time for the all-star champ? Once again, Colm is prepared for that one. But Colm unable to get any kind of significant offense going. Looking to try and get something moving here. Off the ropes and boom, face wash. This could be it. Cover. Trying for a pin. I don't know that's going to work. Only got the one count. He couldn't make much of that pin attempt. Hits him with the count. And a counter by Wyndham. Oh, Sends him head first into the mat. And now he's got no again. Colm reverses the bear hug again. Colm, obviously, as I said, has been watching some tapes. He's come in with some strategies to counter that bear hug. Clothesline and another. Colm catches the foot, sends the big man to the mat. And Colm with the pop-up uppercut. Wow. Strength of Colm on display there. Colm going top rope. Are we going to see the FTN? Oh, nails it. Hooks the leg. That might be it. No. Matt Windham gets the shoulder up, but Colm, an impressive rally. I don't know how someone kicks out of that. I don't know how you can still be standing. 
And now Matt Windham split open after that last punch from Colm. And he is immediately going to work on that head. Would have already ended most superstars. The level of resilience we're seeing is off. And Colm again. Showing a lot of fury with these attacks. Targeting the head of Matt Windham. Now that it is split open, the ultimate opportunist. Nice dodge by Matt Windham. And a headbutt. Not a great idea if you've got your head split open, but Matt Windham. Unconcerned. Driving the knee into the concrete floor. Oh, this is not good. And there you go. Backbreaker and then putting in the squeeze as well. Have to be mindful of a count out here. Matt Windham sends Colm back in. And boom. Look at that. Beautiful reversal by Colm. And oh. Was trying for some more mounted punches, but a reversal by Wyndham. A great match so far. And Colm, once again, right back at that forehead of Matt Wyndham. I feel like that's gonna that that's gonna yield results eventually. But Matt Wyndham going for the pin. And once again, only a two count. Both wrestlers exhausted, struggling to their feet. Wyndham's got him up on the top turnbuckle, taking a couple of shots, and now using his raw strength to drop him right on the logo, face first. What is he doing now? Oof. Again, face first into the logo. The crowd going wild. They love to see Colm taking a beating. Any member of the Cure, quite frankly. Wyndham's got him up. Choke slam to the ground. And now Wyndham on the middle rope. Looking to the crowd. And boom. The brain chop right on top of the noggin. Hooks the leg. That could be it for Colm. No. Somehow, Colm digs deep for that kick out. But he has got to get something going immediately or Matt Windham is going to do exactly that. Tossing him around the ring, that might be all she wrote. And the three count, your winner, Matt Windham. That is two non-title wins by Matt Windham on FTN Colm. Let's take another look at you got to think that a title match for Matt Windham is going to be soon. Again, the fans going crazy. And listen, I'm telling you, it's starting to look like, uh, you know, Cure can be Colm in particular a little bit vulnerable when he hasn't got uh, cheating on his side. Just going to throw that out there. At least I don't want to call out Colm. He's a great wrestler. But uh, this, things have got listen, that is right about two now. losses in Actually, a row to Matt Windham. The win a lot more like plus the loss last week to Kurt Wilde. And you got to think that Colm is going to be headed for an early, an early title match. All right, tag team action for battle. in an Extreme Rules tag team match. Headed to the ring, Akira Katsuyori and Jay Sakamoto, the Rising Suns. Again, we saw Akira Katsuyori last week in singles competition against Harris Hare, where he lost. And now back to tag a team where he is probably a lot more comfortable. <laughs> well, exactly, Maz. I mean, maybe the cure to the cure is uh, saying your prayers and eating your vitamins. Uh -oh. 
and their opponents a non-title match. The Crossbows, Bad Ben Cross and Lee Bowman. These guys look unstoppable as men's tag team champions. Not sure who is going to step up to end their reign. And Jocko, listen, you say that Americans only get big on burgers and that doesn't lead to muscles. Listen, I got big on burgers and look at this. I'm an absolute beast. Didn't lift a single dumbbell for it, not one. Maybe like quarter pound dumbbells. I don't, I don't. I don't think that quite counts. All right, let me start the prediction. This is the type of match where anything can happen right away. You let me know who you think's going to win this match. I see a lot of chaos. It's all about who can control the chaos the best. There are no limits and every resource is at a superstar's disposal. I able to counter. All four competitors in the ring at one time in extreme rules match. No countouts, no disqualifications, no tagging. Lee Bowman has Akira trapped in the corner. Jay Sakamoto trying to come back against Bad Ben. But he is getting double teamed by both members of Crossbows. Now they switch partners. Bad Ben pummeling Akira in the corner. And now Jay Sakamoto coming over trying to help his partner out and suffering the same fate. Although there's the reversal. Once again, though, Jay Sakamoto getting double teamed as Akira was sent out of the ring. Now everyone outside of the ring. <laughs> you and me both, Maz. You and me both. You're the Southern Hemisphere champ. I'm the Northern Hemisphere champ. Coming up next title match between Bailey Banner and Marcella Drosi. So definitely stay tuned. Bad Ben with the spine buster on Jay. Lee Bowman's got those steel steps, but Akira not letting him use it. Steel te steps uh, thus far tonight seem to be obeying uh, the laws of gravity. And physics, so that's a nice change. Set straight to the barricade. Put in a position now. Sakamoto dropped face first off the turnbuckle, and Bad Ben just got clobbered by Akira with those steel steps. Lee Bowman looking under the ring, but uh, changed his mind. Now going back to it, I don't think he spotted Akira. He does now. He's got a kendo stick Akira has the kendo stick now and missed Lee Bowman absolute chaos Sakamoto with the DDT Akira with the DDT and the rising suns taking it to the champs Bowman sent back into the ring. Sakamoto goes over to help out against Bad Ben. Bowman back out again. Rising Suns double teaming Bowman. Bowman with the reversal. Turns that into a devastating shot to the knee. Goes under the ropes to get back Sakamoto inside. tossed into the ring. Akira comes in. He's channeling the crowd's energy. He's Does not see ring. Bad Ben Anything until it's too late, and Bad Ben's going to make him pay for it with the Fisherman Driver. Hooks the leg. Sakamoto in there to stop the count, but he's brought a table into the ring. Bad Ben trying to roll over Akira. Locks in that Boston Crab. Lee Bowman preventing Jay Sakamoto from interfering, but Akira manages to get out of it on his own. 
rolls him over actually into a pin. Sakamoto split open on the turnbuckle. Bad Ben grabbed that kendo stick, but whacked Jay over top of the head with it. And Lee Bowman grabbed him from behind and tossed him to the ground. And now he's getting worked over with that kendo stick again. Akira just getting to his feet now. As his partner is taking an absolute shellacking by crossbows outside of the ring. Bowman... Going after Akira. Bad Ben just hit Jay Sakamoto. Oh, and the Bowflex. This could be it if Akira taps. That is it. It is over. Jay Sakamoto in no shape to interfere here. But Akira hangs on. Ladder once again placed between the announcer's desk and the apron. Crowd counted out as Bowman. Sakamoto hit by those steel steps again. Sakamoto is in absolutely brutal shape out there. Akira is going to have to win this match for his team, I think, because Sakamoto almost takes the third hit from the from the steel steps. Akira split open now. Akira tosses Lee Bowman out of the ring and he immediately goes over to take on Jay Sakamoto. Little happy accident for the crossbows, I think. But Akira, oh, Akira. Woo. Right in the mommy daddy button by Ben Cross. Driven into the barricade. Jay Sakamoto trying to mount some kind of a comeback here against Swing Bowman. The elbow to halt the offense. Cobra Clutch. Cobra Crutch. Cobra Clutch Slam, rather, by Lee Bowman. Say that five times. You can, folks. He's not getting paid by the hour. Oh. The Rising Suns. Getting the tar beat out of him. Oh, Akira slammed head first off the barricade. I mean, this is just brutal. Crossbows just having their way with the rising suns here on the outside of the ring. Sakamoto trying to fight back here against Bowman. Sends him back into the ring. I think that's the right idea. But Sakamoto is going to come over and try and save his partner. Or is he instead going to share his fate? Oh, Sakamoto! Oh, what a slap to Bad Ben. And a huge drop kick by Akira. I think that might have split open Lee Bowman. An absolutely vicious match. Getting more and more vicious as we go. At exactly the right time. Backbreaker. And the Rising Suns inexplicably back in control of this match, at least for now. Just when it looked like they were done for, they've got a little bit of life left in them. Sakamoto on the top rope. That's insane. Lee Bowman there, but doesn't see it in time, but Bad Ben does. Sakamoto missed on that one. Lee Bowman's got a uh, sledgehammer now. And he goes right after Akira, hitting him right in the hip. With the business end of that sledgehammer. Akira continuing his attack on Bad Ben on the outside. Akira has another table now, and he is going up the ramp 
and hits Lee Bowman with it. He is trying to keep Lee Bowman away from that ring. Obviously showing some confidence in his partner, although his partner is flat on his back in the middle of the ring, and Bad Ben's coming after him. Akira heads him off at the pass. And Bad Ben sends it to the concrete, and once again, we are all outside of the ring. Headbutt by Bad Ben. Submission hold by Bowman again. Not a false count anywhere match. I mean, this is as vicious a tag team match as we've seen in a long time. Oh, hit him right in the ankle with that sledgehammer. He's running into some problems here, guys. He's got to reevaluate his approach at this point. He is doing whatever possible to... And now Akira returning the favor by twisting the heel of Lee Bowman. I mean, back and forth, back and forth. There's the power bomb onto the concrete by Bad Ben. Comes in to help his partner out and does just that. Bowman gets reversed by Akira. Akira sends Bowman back into the ring. Abdominal stretch on the outside there by Bad Ben and Akira comes in to help but Jay Sakamoto one step ahead of him. Oh! Nice head scissors DDT to escape. And now the Rising Suns turn their attention to Bowman. Suplex by Akira. Oh, Akira hit him right in the face with that sledgehammer. And now Bad Ben split open all four participants, officially bleeding. Always a good sign for an Extreme Rules match. And the Rising Suns, Akira heads back into the ring to go after Bowman. But Bowman has him in the Bowflex. Jay Sakamoto was under the ring, didn't notice it. Comes in just in time to save his partner. He was moments from tapping, I suspect. Going for the pin, but Sakamoto right there to break that one up. Bad Ben has Akira up. And Samoan driver. Sakamoto goes right after him, though. Bowman and Akira flat on their backs. Uh, Bowman just getting up to his feet now. Sakamoto just strike after strike after strike to the back of Lee of Bad Ben. And once again, Akira put right back into the Bowflex. Sakamoto right there this time, but he is determined to make the Rising Suns tap. And now into the bear hug is Akira going to be, or sorry, is rather Jay Sakamoto going to hang on here? And here he is, Jay Sakamoto somehow finding a way out of that bear hug. The resilience of the rising sun on display. Irish whip. Arm drag by Sakamoto. He's going to go top rope. Lee Bowman has not noticed what's going on. Finally, he does. Bad Ben gets out of the way. Taken down. And now Bowman going after Akira. They lock up. Reversal by Akira. Akira has a kendo stick. And cracks Lee Bowman right over the head, but there's the bad news driver in the middle of the ring. And a kick out after two by Sakamoto. 
Bad Ben has him up again. And Samoan driver. And the spear on Akira hooks the leg. Everyone else is down. And Akira kicks out after two. Unbelievable. And now Bowman setting up Akira for something. Bad Ben gets in the way. Akira fighting back. Sakamoto fighting back. Akira has that kendo stick. And oh, what a kick to the face. Hooks the leg on Lee Bowman. And almost got the win against the champs. Unbelievable. Sakamoto in the corner. And into the bow flex again. No one's coming to help him this time. It is going to be up to Jay Sakamoto to hang in there. The squeeze being put in. Meanwhile, Bad Ben's got a baseball bat taken to Akira. Sakamoto does not tap. How on earth does he not tap? Bowman into the corner. Sakamoto after Bad Ben. Akira there with that baseball bat. Looking for a little revenge. And he finds it. Hooks the leg. Two count only. Unbelievable. Sakamoto on the top rope as Akira hits Bad Ben with the baseball bat. And oh, miss. Bad Ben rolled out before Sakamoto got that move away. Everyone on the outside again. Pump handle suplex by Bad Ben. He's back inside the squared circle. He's going to grab that baseball bat. Here comes Jay Sakamoto. Tosses Bad Ben onto the steel ladder. Sakamoto. I mean, thinking about something, but uh, I think I think he's too. I think he was thinking about maybe taking a dive onto the steel ladder, but I think everyone is just too exhausted for it, to be honest. Bowman's got a steel chair. Everyone back on the outside here. Oh, tossed right on top of the steel steps by Bad Ben. Duplex by Bad Ben. And, oh. Going after Sakamoto with the chair now, but Sakamoto tosses Bad Ben back into the ring. Sakamoto. Oh! Hammers Bowman with that chair across the back. Once again, pump handle suplex by Bad Ben. DDT on Akira. I mean, and the Rising Suns once again running on absolute fumes. Takes an elbow and a chair shot. I mean, at what point do we have to send in the medical staff to just call this match? They have done it before. Shutting that down with the back elbow. Akira with the suplex on Bowman. Bad Ben finally going after Jay Sakamoto, who has been on the floor for some time here. It has not been 50 minutes by any stretch of the imagination yet. It has been not even 20 minutes yet. And honestly, looking at the blood pouring from the faces of these competitors, we are one move away from someone winning this match. And there's the knee strike by Sakamoto. He's going top rope. Bad Ben hasn't spotted him. Hits the diving maneuver. Hooks the leg. Bad Ben spotted him. Is he going to get in in time? He is not the Rising Sun. 
pick up the win against the champs. Unbelievable. Unbelievable match. One of the best matches in WWE history. I mean, the brutality of this match. The close calls. This match was back and forth from the jump. Two great superstars that go and the together. Rising Suns pick up a big non-title win against the champs. Again, prior to before the last pay-per-view, they had beaten the champs as well. But they lost the number one contenders match to the Blue Bloods and so didn't get a shot at the title. And they are right back at it. They want another opportunity to go for those belts. Bailey Banner in the ring and Marcella. They are wasting no time. There has been a lot of bad blood between these two. And the referee trying, the bell has not rung yet. The referee trying to get some kind of control on this match. And finally, there's the bell. Trying to catch the superstar off guard, but they were prepared. Bailey Banner trying to take the belt off of Marcella Drosi. Let me start the prediction. And you can let me know who you think is going to win this match. Is Marcella going to emerge the champion, or is Bailey Banner going to finally dethrone the Invincible One? Hot shot into the outside of the ring. Bailey Banner going top rope already. Waiting for Marcella to get to her feet. And boom, hits her with the drop kick. Oh my God. Bailey Banner wasting no time. Shining Wizard to the side of the head. And Marcella with the reversal, but there's a counter again by Bailey. And now she delivers her back into the ring. Tossed back into the ring. Again, Bailey Banner does not want a count out because she can't win the belt with a count out victory. Bailey Banner right back to it, slams her head first into the mats. And Banner, no, reversed. Marcella using that strength to her advantage. Hits her with the clothesline. Off the ropes, back body drop. And now up into the spine buster. Marcella trying to end this one early. Got the two count only. Marcella with the spear. And again, only a two counts. Very close. The T clearly set again. Marcella has her up. Boom. That could be it. I hate to say it, but it is not looking good for Bailey Banner right now. She came out flying, but Marcella has absolutely punished her for these last few moves. Bailey Banner showing that resilience. Another kick out. Into the ropes and boom. Power slam off the ropes. Marcella has Bailey on her feet, but Bailey Banner can only hold out for so much longer. I think that Marcella is on the verge of winning this match. Lifts Bailey Banner high above her and drops her face first. And now Marcella going top rope here. And boom. Hit her with the headbutt. And uh, Marcella just taking a little break in the corner. Bailey Banner struggles to get to the apron. She goes back inside the ropes. Back in the ring. And oh, missed on the kick. Nice dodge by Marcella. Marcella has her up again. And boom. 
Military press power slam. Bailey Banner behind the eight ball in this match early. Irish whip into the ropes. Goes nowhere. Bailey trying to get something going here. Irish whip. Nice drop kick. Springboard. Head scissors tilt a whirl. Hooks the leg, hoping maybe that dizziness is the key. Two. Oh, got the two count. Woo, had me thinking. Had me thinking. Bailey locks up. Another Irish whip. Missed on whatever she was going for there. Not quite sure. Sends Marcella into the corner. And Bailey. Hurricane Rana nicely done. Off the ropes. Oh, shining wizard to the side of the head. And a Bailey Banner trying to get some momentum here. Has her up and oh! Rolls her over, hooks the leg. Is that going to be enough? Three! Three count. Now we find out, did they have this as a title match or not? I suspect it may not have. What an incredible match. We'll see if she grabbed the rope. I don't see any rope grab. Let me look. There's the hands right at the side of the... Oh, though she did. Oh, Jocko was correct. Jocko was correct. Bailey Banner, your winner. And it looks like 2K may have screwed us out of the belt celebration. Bailey Banner with the win. Despite the fact that 2K screwed it up, Bailey Banner is your new RLWF Women's Champion. Jocko calling shenanigans, and he, on the replay, he is actually correct. But what the referee doesn't see doesn't count. But uh, listen, I think that uh, I think that Marcella is absolutely going to be uh, making a formal complaint to the RLWF. And uh, l listen, a valid point. But again, if the referee misses a rope grab, two weeks in a row, conspiracy against Marcella. Listen, last week was not a pro last week. The foot crossed the plane of the ropes, but she did not set her foot in it. Now, the rules are a little bit arcane when it comes to the RLWF. I'm not 100% sure I understand them, but I believe she needed to get her. It's the referee's discretion in those kind of cases. Now, I, listen, we'll have to review the tapes. We will go to that. But for now, for now, pending any kind of strange outcome, your new RLWF Women's Champion, Bailey Banner.